Greetings, citizens! Just a guy has arrived! Today, we are going to be playing through a visual novel by, actually, a friend of mine. It released recently on Steam, and it is called, if you can see, That Which Binds Us. So, I've actually played a little of it, So, but we're going to be starting over, because obviously it would not make sense to just jump in in the middle. So, without any further delays, here we go. Question, question, question mark. Waitress, hey! Well, the transitions. Here she comes. You don't have to yell. How else will she know we're ready to order? I can't sit here all day, or else, or else our lunch break will make it cut short tomorrow. He is getting a bit cranky nowadays. Yeah, did you see how he snapped at that new girl the other day? Like, right in front of a customer, just because she screwed up arranging shoes. I don't think that customer stayed long after that. About like eight or nine months ago, right before you started working, he had a huge temper tantrum with a girl and she quit right on the spot. It's a wonder he's still a manager. Ugh, and I'm closing tonight with him. I hope he doesn't lean over while I'm closing the registers. I just can't count all those ones with someone watching that closely. I had to close with him the other night. Not fun. Thankfully, I get off at five tonight. Oh, does someone have plans? She, start, she starts stirring the straw in her glass, eyes completely on me. Maybe. I might be able to convince Stefan to take me out to the movies tonight. There's a new thriller that just came out. Her eyes rolling are a clear sign that I should have eaten lunch alone. Him? Really? I would have figured you'd have dumped him already. Why do I bother talking? about anything personal. I'll get a raise before she learns to mind her own business. No, we're still together. I guess you have a thing for bad boys. I guess some people have no tact. He's nice. I heard you in the break room arguing with him over the phone a couple of weeks ago. Can we not? And she wonders why I usually just go to work and don't hang out with co-workers. Your point? Gosh, get some self-respect. Find a better guy. You're about to have to find another lunch partner. He's fine, really. I can only stare at my glass while I say that, though. Oh, I get it. Ex-con. You're apprehensive about dumping him, right? Damn, I hate it when she does that. What if he comes after me? He's obviously not afraid of going back to jail. Well, don't worry. My boyfriend's a lumberjack and could take 20 of him. She always keeps talking until she gets something the least bit right. Of course, she does love talking. How is he doing? He got promoted recently, right? Oh, he loves it! Phil says he gets to work more in the mills while also doing less heavy lifting. He loves the hands-on part of the lumber mill, but his chiropractor doesn't! <laughs> she loves talking, but even more than that, she loves talking about her life. Ah, but he's having to work late some nights. There's been some shady dudes hanging around after dark. Just the other week, they had someone try to break into one of their locked storage sheds on site. Can you believe it? Of course, Phil caught him since he was making rounds that night. But seriously, things have gotten rough around here lately. Too much crime. These gangs have gotten really ambitious. You should be more careful when walking home at night. I know I don't go out without Phil. I doubt any. One dealing with organized crime is a petty thief, but she is right. Even petty thieves have gotten more ambitious. Oh, uh, that's my phone ringing. Who's calling me? Uh, excuse me. Sierra watches me suspiciously as I step away from the table. Hello, honey. Are you using a co-worker's phone? Oh no, well, uh, you see, the funny thing is, uh, I, I was at work, but then, uh... You're in jail again, aren't you? Oh uh, look, I, I don't need you to be patronizing me. I just need you to bail me out. Uh, but I... I know you've got some money stashed away somewhere. I... I, I do have some money in the bank for emergencies. Uh, to him, this would count as one, another one. Of course, I could always wait until my next payday. Dots. 
Alright, I'll go get a bail bond. Something up? But just nothing. I hate that smirk. Oh, please. I heard it all. Damn it. If you hurry, you can get one filled out before our break is over. What? It, it takes like a few hours, at least. No, no. There's this really good bail bond store a few blocks away. And how do you know about it? My brother was stuck in jail for a bit after he took a weed whacker to his then-girlfriend's car when he found out it was a gift from her boyfriend. Uh oh But yeah, if you use that place, you'll be able to get him out and not be late for work. Alright. Of course, you could always leave him there. Bye, Sierra. Really? You're going to that crappy job fair or whatever? It's not a job fair. Then what else is it for? Is it to it? What else is to it? Uh, okay. Look, I just want to go to it, okay? Fine, I've got friends I'm meeting up with then anyway at the movies. I thought we were going to the movies next week. Yeah, we were. Then we got our priorities in order. Dots. Here it is. It's kind of small, but I guess you don't need a big store to sell bail bonds. The office door blinds are closed. Behind them, I can hear someone faintly talking. There must already be a client back there. I shouldn't eavesdrop, but... Question marks. Are you sure that's it? It's done? Trust me, he won't be pestering you any longer. Thank you. Thank you so much! Here, it's a little more than we talked about, but it's the least I can do. And thank you very much. Well, if you have anyone else bothering you, you'll know where I'll be. Excla <clears throat> Exclamation point! They're getting up! Dots! Phew, I don't think they noticed I was by the door. She must be the client. Wow! She didn't even look at me. All business, I guess. Dots! Exclamation point! What's a pretty young girl like yourself doing in a dingy place like this? Uh, I need to get a bail bond for my boyfriend. Ah, got an incarcerated love? Sure, come on in. Alright, name? Evilise Adam. You know, I never introduced myself to you, Miss Evelise. I'm Idris Witcher, but most people call me the Bondsman. Let's see, page 26. Female, I've got to get the paperwork completely right. Yes. Job, retail clerk. What's your boyfriend's name? Stefan Aran. What's he in for? Shoplifting. Like how much shoplifting? Uh, did, he, did he rob a bank, a store? Well, I guess shoplifting would be a bank, but you know what I mean. It's not his first charge. And he was shoplifting some expensive wine. And... Alright, I get it. He's an idiot. Hey, he's not. He's making his girlfriend post bail for him while he goes and does whatever he wants because he knows you're there to bail him out. Why are you even with this sleaze bag? You deserve better than this. Uh, I'm here for a bail bond, not relationship advice, thank you very much. I'm trying to give you a bond deal if you'll listen. I typically sell bail bonds to people who have family and friends in jail or in prison, but I also do another type of bond work. How would you like it if I could get you out of this relationship scot-free? What? Let me phrase it more clearly. How would you like it if I made him completely forget about you? You can keep on living your normal life while he'll stay in jail like he should. Someone mentions you to him, or even, heaven forbid, you bump into him, he won't remember anything about you, even if you talk to him. You can erase a person's memory of someone else? Just like that? Just like that. How? With this. Ah! Don't worry, I won't use it on you. Yet. It's a family heirloom passed down from generation to generation. All I need is a strand of hair from the person, a photo of them, and your arm. Or hand, or back, wherever, really. So you just 
cut me? And that's it? Well, to be more specific, you have to slice a strand of hair and a photo from the person you'll want to forget about you, and then you have to make a small cut on your skin. He cuts both of them? It's a permanent mark. The scar won't fade with time, but you can always use makeup to cover it up. It doesn't even have to be somewhere people could easily see. It just has to be skin. But it does have to be deeper than a paper cut and longer than an inch. Any less than that and you run the risk of it not working. And I like to strive for efficiency. So, what do you say? Dots. It's a lot to take in. You probably don't even believe me. How about you go home, sit down, and think it over? Then in the morning, you can come back to me. I'll have the bail bond ready to fill out if you want to get him out of jail. Or, I could take him out of your life forever in even less time. I also can do it with this gun over here, ha uh, ha. Uh. But no, seriously. The choice is yours. Dots. His smirk is a bit unnerving. He's either a great actor, or, no, trust me, I'm not. Is it permanent? Mostly. The memories can resurface if you try to make them remember. But, like I said, if you accidentally meet him, even have a small conversation, for him, it'll be like bumping into any stranger on the street. Is it permanent or is it? You said mostly. It's not fully permanent. If you really wanted to, you could reverse it. Spend time with him. Ask him about the past. Make him remember. So it's permanent as long as you want it to be. Will I forget about him? No. You'd only forget about him if I did the same to him. Any more questions? Dots. Hmm, a choice. Which will we pick, citizens? I think we know how it works, though. Hmm. I think this is actually pretty pertinent a question, so let's go. How much is it? Well, I guess that was a good sound. Well, I'm the one who brought it up, so let's not worry about it. It'd be a lot cheaper than a bail bond. How about that? That's not the most reassuring. Hmm. Any more questions? Uh, yes! Oh. Okay, we got both. How does it work? Well, I don't exactly know how it works. It just does. Contract with Satan, prayers to angels, who knows? But it works. It's not like you can easily look through a registrar and find all the owners of a magic knife. Probably because they don't exist in the first place. Any more questions? Yes? Okay, we, we got this one. No! This is a bit much to take in. You're silent. You're thinking, how quickly can I make it to the door? Well, he's not wrong. Go home. Watch the news tonight. Think about it. Maybe you'll start believing me after that. Think about it. Well, alright, we're gonna think about it, citizens, but for now, we're gonna actually take a break, and until next time, and please join me next time, I'm afraid that this is... Farewell!